In 1999, Nayan Hazrat Waller won $50,000 for discovering a prime number with more than 1 million digits. And in 2008, a team from UCLA earned $100,000 after discovering a 10 million digit prime. But there are some prizes yet to be claimed. You could win $150,000 or $250,000 for discovering big prime numbers. In this video, I will explain the importance of large primes and ways of making money from it. In 1903, Frank Cole, an American mathematician, made a presentation at a mathematical congress in New York without saying a single word. When he approached the board, he calculated 2 to the power 67 minus 1 by hand. On an adjacent board, he wrote 1937077721 multiplied by 761-838-257-287 and calculated it in a complete silence. The results on the two boards turned out equal. Upon returning to his seat, Cole was greeted with a standing ovation. But why were his calculations so impressive? Well, prime numbers of the form 2 to the n minus 1 are known as Mersenne primes, honoring a French mathematician from the 17th century. It was observed that Mersenne primes occur for quite many values of n. For example, we get a prime for n equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, and so on. And it is this abundance of primes in the sequence that made these numbers famous. So, by the end of the 19th century, mathematicians checked all exponents up to 66 and nobody knew whether 2 to the 67 minus 1 was prime or not. Frank Cole spent three years of Sundays trying to factorize this massive number, eventually finding a prime factor 1937077721 and thus proved that this was not a Mersenne prime. In the 20th century, something interesting happened. A computer was born. And as they were gaining computational power, people started using them for finding big primes. And it seems to be a useless task that perhaps only pure mathematicians might enjoy. But large primes became extremely important with the rise of modern cryptography. I want to demonstrate it with an RSA protocol. So I want to tell you about the RSA key exchange and I will assume that you know the basic principles of cryptography and you know that we need a private key and a public key. And in RSA the generation of both of these keys is uh, very mathematical. So this is how it works. So in the RSA key exchange, this is what the receiver does. He picks two primes, P and Q primes, and he multiplies them to get a number n. What he then does is he chooses a number e such that it is co-prime with p minus 1 times q minus 1. And this product is the Euler totient function of n, and you can read more about it if you want to know why it is used here. So we pick such e, and then we can calculate, 
we can calculate d such that d times e is congruent to 1 mod p minus 1 q minus 1. If you are interested, uh, you can read about the Euclid's extended algorithm to figure out uh, how to find this d. And this is all we need, because now if we have Alice that wants to share messages with Bob, it communicates N and E to Bob, and he uses these two numbers to encrypt his message and send it back. And Alice possesses D, which she uses for decryption. So notice that D is not sent over, it's only N and E. So if the adversary knows, so if you know N and E, it is very hard, it is very hard to find D. Because in order to do that, you will need to be able to factorize n into p and q. And here is where magic happens, because if p and q are chosen to be large primes, this task of factorizing n becomes extremely difficult. And this is why RSA and many other algorithms are secure. It's based on the assumption that factorizing big numbers with big factors is computationally difficult. So, this is one of the major reasons why people hunt for large primes and establish big prizes for them. In 1999, the first million digit prime was discovered. Nine years later, we learned about a 10 million digit prime. But nobody has yet found a 100 million digit long prime. And if you succeed in it, you will claim 150,000. And the first person to find a billion digit prime gets $250,000. If you look at the history of largest known prime numbers, you see that most of them are Mersenne primes. And the reason is simple. Mersenne primes are easy to work with. Computers work with binary numbers. Powers of 2 have a very simple binary representation. It is just a string of 1s. So, any Mersenne prime is simply a string of 1s with a 0 in the end. It is very easy to store on a computer. And while these big prizes seem unattainable, you could still win $3,000 for discovering the next Mersenne prime. Right now, the largest Mersenne prime known is... And if you discover the next one, you get the prize.